Hey guys, how's it going? I am here at Macy's Woodland Mall. I'm doing another day in the life for you. Today I'm covering a Macy's Fashion, no, Macy's Culinary Council event. I've been covering Macy's events for years. They were one of the first um, brands I actually started working with when I started blogging. And so today, Culinary Council Chef Rick Bayless is here doing a cooking demo. And so stay tuned to see some more of what's going on inside. typically used for cinnamon here in the United States and it's very hard and then there is what's called true cinnamon and you can find that in pretty much any ethnic market certainly in every Mexican grocery store or if you go to a regular grocery store that has a large Hispanic population that uh, shops there they'll have it there too and it is so light and flaky that you can crumble it in your hands it's also more flowery in its flavor Okay, it's a little, I don't know, I just think it's one. It's really delicious. Well, that's a wrap, guys. I am heading out of Macy's now, um, headed to meet my friends at the rodeo. So I came in here wearing the, my rodeo outfit. So I'm actually gonna like do my makeup or something, look at this video, I look kinda crazy. And then, so I'm gonna come back into Macy's and use the restroom. But that event was amazing. Um, I think I just had the best first shows I've ever had in my life. I normally don't even like Mexican food, but I think I just don't like the American definition of Mexican food. Like, I don't like tacos, but what Rick Bayless made, I could eat that every day. And this is how you do your makeup quickly in the bathroom at Macy's for Rodeo. This is my rodeo outfit. Bought this skirt at Forever 21, like a couple weeks before the rodeo, because I knew I wanted to wear it to the rodeo. But every time I had a chance to wear it to the rodeo, it rains. And I feel like weird that I just said rodeo like 15 freaking different times, so they're laughing at me. And today, when I thought it was going to be a little warmer, it's actually kind of cool, but I'm still going to wear the skirt because this is my last chance. And I don't care if I freeze my butt off. Um, if you're not from Houston, the rodeo is like a really big thing here. It happens every year. It's like for a month long. It starts with like a barbecue kickoff. Anyway, <clears throat> if I don't get a parking pass, I usually take our public transportation system, which really isn't that much of a public transportation system compared to other cities I've been in. It's only like one little monorail thing. It take a long time to get down there. It's actually the easiest, I think the easiest way to get down there. So parking in the parking lots and walking down there. And it gets really expensive the closer you get to the rodeo. But anyway, I'll check back in with you guys when I uh, get there. 